This is the reason why most people fail when starting a business. It's DK and I'm back again. It's time for us to go out here win and get these dividends. If you are not subscribed, do me a favor and smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. And if you're a part of the crew, you already know what to do. Throw them C's up. Throw them C's up in the comment section below. It's about to pull up to Walmart and go. Now, we are about to do some rolling, rolling, rolling with a devil wrench. We are about to do a rolling order. We are picking up two items, driving two miles for 4422. I love getting this money. How about you? Let's go. Hello. They got some couches. Uh, the code is 2323. 23, 23? Yes, ma'am. Okay. These ones got a little weight to them. They got the couch. It's the outdoor furniture, baby. They're trying to get rice ski. They're trying to get rice. You're trying to slide it on this uh, L card and we... Yeah, because it kept moving, huh? Yeah, because it kept moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so I'm going to just lift it up on this end, like this. And stay right here. Okay. And then we just push. Okay. Yeah, make it easy. You got to make it easy. <laughs> 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 got it. <he. laughs> got it. <he. laughs> and just like that, we got everything strapped up. We're about to pull up so we can run it up. Let's go. And just like that, we are here at the drop-off location. We are here skating and being great. It's beautiful day outside today, baby. It's supposed to be like 62 degrees. Chill. See if the customer here so we can see what they want us to put it there. If not, guess what? Leave it at the front door. Don't give me that. It's okay. Sorry. Hello. I'm here with your Walmart order. Okay. Where you'd like me to sit it up here or by the garage or where um, you'd like you me to sit it? You can put it over here if you can. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. You're welcome. Buy this joint down. Uh, line it up. We got this cart, baby. This cart gonna save our lives. Ain't gonna carry nothing. Line this joint down. Line up. There. Number two, what it do? Slide this joint down. This joint is a little bit heavier than the other one. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Block. Lean back. Lean back like Fat Joe. Uh. Alrighty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I just have to take a photo and I'm good to go. Sure. You too. Step back into the photo yard and I'll smack. We go. Order number two, guess what we about to do? Pull up to Walmart and get some more money like it ain't funny. We are picking up three items. We're gonna drive 10.4 miles for 40.90. We're trying to get to this money and hopefully it's timely. Let's go. How you doing? I'm doing great. The code is Y'all got the white gloves. Y'all got the late. Yeah, I have to. I don't know why. Yeah, hey, hey, man. Whether you safe and sorry, you don't know how people, where people's hands and stuff been at. Thank you. You have a good one. And just like that, we got these joints strapped in. Now it's time for us to pull up so we can get these dividends. Let's go. Guess where we are at? We are at the drop off. It's time to knock their socks off. We're trying to ball like hot sauce. It got a little warm. I had, I had to take my jacket off, baby. I had to take my jacket off. It's getting too warm. A few moments later. Well, we're about to leave it at the front door. Number one, uh, drop it like it's hot. Number two, number three. Number one, number two, number three. Now we got to step back, hit up the photo. Y'all know those? Smack! We're gone. And just like that, we are done 
We went out there and barely got any funds. We only made $94.12 today, but that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about why most people fail when starting a business. So I'm gonna give you guys my, my thoughts on it. Let me go ahead and tell you this. The number one reason why most people fail when starting a business is because, guess what? What do everybody do when they're working a job? Not everybody, what do most people do while working a job? I know you guys, and for those who have worked a job before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They always have this group of people and what do this group of people always do? Comment below and let me know before I say anything. Five, four, three, two, one. That is complain. Complain, 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 complain. Most people should not start a business because they're, all they're gonna do is complain. You know what complainers are? Complainers are usually workers. Bosses really don't do that much complaining. Bosses make stuff happen, they make adjustments and they keep on moving and grooving. They don't have time to sit back and complain. And for the most part, most people who are trying to start businesses or like like now nowadays, everybody wanna be a business owner. They wanna start a business, I'm a business owner, I'm an entrepreneur. No, you're not. You're not an entrepreneur, you're an entrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur, that's what you are. And I'm just telling you guys the facts of the situation. Bosses don't move like that. Bosses don't complain, they make adjustments. If they see something not working, they move over here, tweak this, tweak that, and then keep on moving and grooving. People who work at jobs, it's a worker mentality, and most workers, what they do is complain. And if you wanna be a boss and you wanna own your business or run a business, you need to think like a boss and not a worker. Most people have a worker's mentality, and they're always complaining, and they're always worrying about what everybody else is doing instead of what they need to be doing. Now, another thing that workers do not want to do is be held accountable. A lot of times, people, as, as a business owner, you're going to make mistakes. And the consumer does not care. They don't care. It's all, every, when you're a business owner, everything is your fault. There is nobody else's fault. My driver, this, this person, ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. The gig gaps, this, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the carry company, this. The, look, it is nobody's fault but your own because it's your business. It ain't, it ain't the carry company business. It ain't the, it ain't the, uh, the gig app business, it's your business. So you should be able to be held accountable for the things you're doing or not doing. You cannot blame anybody else for why you're not succeeding. Yes, today we only made $94.12, but if I was thinking like a worker, I would be sitting there, oh, complaining, complaining, complaining all about the gig apps. The gig apps trash, this, that, this, slow. That. Hey, it is what it is. If I don't like how the gig apps are operating or how the carry company is operating, how about I start my own thing? Start your own stuff. If you want to complain about how everybody else is doing what they're doing, make sure you just start your own stuff so you don't have to worry about this in the long run. Now, another thing that I want to let you guys know is running a business is like apples to oranges. Running a business versus being a worker is no, nowhere near like. Not even at all. If you think that you about to just quit your, I, I don't want to work for nobody. If you think you're just about to quit your job and you're just about to be walking around making all this money, it's not going to happen like that. So. If you can if you're not a self-starter and you just can't get up in the morning and go and do what you need to do, boom, boom, you want to lay down, you want to sleep for a little while longer, you got drunk last night, you don't want to get up, you don't want to do nothing. Look, stay working at a job. Because at a job you can slack off a little bit. Just be honest. At a job you can slack off slack off a little bit. You ain't gotta work as hard as that you're gonna have to work when you're owning this business. When you're owning this business, it's 24-7. It ain't no clocking out of this. It's all on you. You cannot blame anybody else for this, and it's gonna take way more of your time. So if you don't have time, if you think that just because you ain't working for somebody, you gonna have all this free time, you're not. You gonna have less time. So make sure you guys consider that before you call yourself going to start this business. Now, if you're planning on starting a business, make sure you listen to what I'm saying because I do not want you guys to have to go through this trouble that you're gonna have to go to, because it's gonna happen. I'm telling you right now, it's guaranteed to happen. If you're not ready for it, it's not gonna work. You're gonna fail. I'm just telling you the honest truth. You're going to fail at this, so do not do it. If you don't have multiple streams of income, money saved up, you have to have a lot of stuff going on in order for it to succeed. And let me just say this. The chances of you succeeding are very slim. I'm just going to tell you the honest truth. If you just have some money saved up, you think you're going to go get a van, you're going to do it up. Hey, the chances of that happening is very slim. There's always going to be some bumps in the road. It's not going to be that you just going, uh, that's not how it works. Now, there always are outliers, and that's probably one out of every 5,000 people. So, hey, sometimes, hey, some people, some people get lucky. Some people get lucky. But for the most part, if you do not have everything situated how it should be situated and you don't have the willpower and the drive and the determination to do it, please do not waste your time and the money. I understand you see these videos, my videos, Big CJ videos, gigs, everybody videos. You see all their videos and you think this is going to be sweet. 
that's not how it works in real time i'm just gonna let you guys know it's a hard grind pause it's it's, it's a very hard grind and it's gonna take you some time it's not gonna happen overnight it, it, and look you're gonna have to be willing to dedicate a lot of time and energy into this business if you're not want to do that i totally understand it's not for everybody and i'm not saying nothing is wrong with you working this nine to five job there's nothing wrong with it everybody want to try to uh down uh downplay people because they work on a job it don't matter Make your money how you make your money. As long as you're getting money, that's all I care about. I don't care how you make it. You go to work a job, you work at McDonald's. I don't care nothing about none of that. As long as you're getting this money, like it ain't funny, that's all I care about. So, don't let nobody persuade you and gas you up to make you think this is going to be sweet because it's not going to be sweet. I'm just letting you know right now. And that's the reason why most people are going to fail and they have failed. So, keep that in mind while you're out there on the grind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Before we go, I want to let you guys know. Caesar, oh, Caesar, if you're a part of the crew, you already know what we're here to do. We're here to get this money like it ain't funny. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around. Because on 2024, all we're doing is putting up the uh, skull. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.